All right, return of the Megado for our um, pure vanilla server. We have the level 56 of the Elder Fairy Cookie buff or the ally uh, bonus, which summons five. All right, five of the fairy knights and they gain five percent for each level. So there's that. And then Matcha Cookie also gives extra damage or attack to all your cookies. All right, uh, so we're gonna go back to the mega dough so we're gonna go with the same same um i'm just gonna go and put back the toppings real quick and i'll show you guys all the toppings all right uh let's see here all right so this is gonna be the same exact team here guys uh the scroll jelly watch and the robe robe needs to be on cranberry and linzer all right um and then let me just show you guys these stats so of course our cranberry has a ton of attack speed here extra attack uh, extra crit helps out uh, damage resist is almost non-existent on all of my cookies. I, I believe you don't really need any damage resist uh, for this particular, you know, ones. Um, and these are the attack. Uh, we have cooldown for uh, Red Bull here. All right. And then we have Mango. Mango is here for the little extra weakness debuff with the extra attack buff as well. So cooldown, just all cooldown and things like that. Um, I might just put these back onto our mango here our black raisin is also here for that weakness debuff extra cooldown uh damage resist uh, is not required uh this is only because i'm using it for the uh, i didn't change the toppings from my red velvet dragon team uh and then we have the cooldown extra you know crit attack also helps out and then we have our linzer linzer is also very important attack speed of course is going to be the main uh substat for the robe and then extra cooldown. Uh, the cooldown is going to really help out in allowing her to always use the skill. Um, and then the attack speed and the robe will allow her to have maximum uh, stacks. All right. Uh, there are different ways of doing it. Uh, you can run uh, the whistle instead as well. Uh, instead of the jelly watch I, i've seen that build as well all right guys just quickly let you guys know if you guys don't have mango the direct replacement that i personally would recommend is going to be eclair eclair is actually really really good right now and i'm just going to quickly show you uh, the damage that he's able to do i mean uh, the contribution point is going to really be random uh in this particular case with the mega though i don't know what what the point of the like the the damages if they're going to do it completely random but you know in case you want to still have that big number or at least a pr pretty decent sized number uh, but don't have Mingo uh, then you guys can definitely try out Eclair. Eclair does that weakness debuff right um, and, and it's consistent rather than having a RNG with uh, Mingo right you're guaranteed a up to 100% uh, as long as you have that four stacks so you can definitely use Eclair uh, to do a little bit more damage uh, if you don't have someone like Mingo uh, that's uh, that's definitely an option. Of course, you're missing out on that extra, you know, attack uh, buff that you get with Mingo, but eh, it's, it's not bad. Uh, you you will do a good chunk uh, right here. You see about three billion uh, for me with this, a little less than uh, what you will see with the uh, the first team, but you know it's it's fine. Like it's a great direct replacement. Again, I would say if you're gonna go with Eclair, like. Eclair is not going to do a ton of damage, so in this particular case, you can probably just just slap on Eclair. Don't even level it up to level 80 or level 80 skill. Just let the 70 buff work, and then just allow Cranberry to do the damage. That's pretty much what I would recommend you guys to do. Uh, just wanted to quickly share that with you guys before we move on to the rest of the video. Let's go into it. Uh, let's see how much damage we do now. Uh, we did, what, like 2.5? No, 2.4 billion last time, uh, but now we have the extra, you know, buffs from the allies so let's see it all right here we go i'm gonna use all of this i'm gonna wait linzer all the way up to seven stacks and then we're gonna use it all right and then everything else pretty much after that you can just spam uh, the reason why is because linzer will get to that la uh, maximum stack by the time the cooldown is over all right uh, so you can see the knights over there, right? You can see the knights just standing there and attacking. And let's see here. Let's see. Come on. Bum, 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 bum. We're at 2.5. Let's see if our Cranberry can do some more. 3 billion. Alright, 3.3 billion. 
3.4. Yep, there you go. 3.4 billion. <sighs> That's the damage we get here, guys. Um, so, you know, we did like, what, a billion extra damage? <laughs> so uh, there is that as well. All right. Uh, so, you know, the team is very simple. Uh, the build is very simple. You don't really need to do anything except in the beginning. If you want to maximize, I guess um, you just put it on uh, non-auto. And then you spam the skills in the beginning except for Linzer. So let Linzer become 7 snap because you get the crit damage buff and the crit buff as well. Right? And the extra uh, damage onto the, uh, the Mega Doe. So you get it at 7. And then now you can just spam afterwards. It's so, it's so simple. Like, And you don't take any damage either. So it's nice. You don't need to focus on damage resist. You just focus on, you know, the main substance like cooldown, attack, crit, you know, depending on what you need on your cookies. All of the cookies are pretty much using, you know, cooldown except for uh, Cranberle. So that's also very, very simple. You know, uh, so those are all the, uh, you know, extra little things. And of course, uh, just the focus is going to be Robe on Cranberle and Lizard. I think those are the only two. Um, and let's see if we can beat 3.5. Ah, no, we're 3.4. But still, I mean, it's going to really depend on the little crits here and there. But, I mean, look at that. It's just so simple. So simple, right? Um, some replacement. Any of the other cookies that are pretty good? are going to be, you know, someone like Captain Caviar. Captain Caviar is decent with the uh, uh, defense reduction and the extra, you know, damage that Captain Caviar is able to do. I guess a uh, replacement you can probably put in uh, is going to be like Tartatan as well. Of course, Tartatan is gonna, not going to do like a ton of damage, but just replacements or any of the buffers. Uh, you know, you can use Minchoko as a buffer. Um, so they're buffing, uh, you know, Cranberle. Cream Puff is another option. Um, you can use someone like, you know, Macaron. Macaron's another option as well to buff up, you know, your Crème Brûlée's damage. Uh, you also have uh, someone like Rockstar, if I can even find Rockstar, whatever Rockstar is. Rockstar is another, like, you know, buffing option. Oyster is another option. So any of the, like, you know, buffers are going to be okay. Uh, and then if you don't have Rebel, because, you know, Rebel is still not inside of the Mallet Shop, I am looking for Rebel too. Um, you can use any of the buffers again. Uh, you don't really need like a, like a mega tank or anything. But the best replacement is going to be someone like Milky Way right now. Uh, I think Milky Way is going to be great uh, just because you have the defense reduction as well. Um, some other options uh, that has also defense reduction is going to be someone like... Uh, where's Space Donut? Space Donut is also another option uh, that you can uh, kind of use here in this particular case. Uh, uh, buffer as well. Uh, Pomegranate is actually not bad either. Um, I don't recommend uh, Mercurial Knight or any of the other ones. Uh, the re reason why is because although you've seen inside of the other raid, uh, the skirmish raid, you know, Mercurial Knight did good damage. The reason why is because of the extra damage buff that you get when you're versing that hollowing uh, ringmaster. It's not the case in this particular raid. Uh, so you have something like this instead. If you don't have Linzer, I'd recommend at least getting Linzer just, uh, you know, from the Mylan Shop. Mylan Shop has Linzer nowadays. Uh, with the Crown Ballet as well. Uh, so getting her might not be a bad idea because she's using different raids as well. Uh, different uh, game modes, you know, and things like that. So these are where the halls are uh, going to come into effect. For anybody who's like wondering, do I level them up? Do I, what do I do? Uh, here in this particular case, something like this, where it's an event that is limited time, hall is the best way to go when you need a replacement cookie. Like, for example, your Milky Way is not leveled up or your pomegranate's not leveled up, or any of the damage dealers. Uh, the buffers, you don't really need to level them up just because of the fact that if you look at this, every cookie becomes level 70 and 70 skill. So you don't really need to, you know, level up the buffers. For example, like Minchoko, Rockstar, uh, you know, those cookies, you don't need to. Uh, the reason why is because they don't do any damage, right? And their buff skill, it's almost, it's just going to stay the same exactly uh, how it is, except only the healing goes up when you actually level up the skill. So you don't need uh, to level up Pomegranate. You don't need to level up Rockstar. You don't need to put them in the hall because, you know, you already get a massive buff of level 70 uh, skill as well as level 70 of the cookie level. 
right? Uh, so you don't need those. Uh, so only if you're planning to do a little bit more damage is where you would level them up to level 80. Um, and then for skill powders, uh, in my opinion, I think it's better to save it. Uh, I don't think it's really worth uh, to level up their skills from the hall just because of the Megado. Just because, again, Megado, you're just doing a little bit of extra damage and then you get a little bit more of that contribution point. I don't think it's really worth worth it uh, to spend your precious, uh, you know, uh, your precious skill powders because there's there's a lot of things to use your skill powders on, right? Uh, so that's pretty much it, guys. There are a couple replacements that I mentioned. Um, and uh, the toppings, again, everybody else is using uh, Swift Chocolate except for our Creme Brulee. And I showed the exact substat, uh, but really all of them don't have damage resist. Even Black Reasons doesn't need it. I, I just have this because this is the uh, Red Velvet Dragon team uh, build because I'm a little lazy to change it. But that is pretty much it, guys. Uh, good luck. Uh, we do extra, extra damage now uh, with the little buffs. I'm excited to see what kind of buffs uh, the next one is going to be because the next one is going to be, uh, yeah, tomorrow is Mercurial Knight. And then the next one is going to be White Lily. And then next one is Silver Bell. So wonder what that's going to be. All right. There you go.